the most complete guide about modern warships. I will teach you how to become rich in the game, how to win all your battles, how to level up faster, the best equipment of the game, the best strike fighters, how to use the market and much more. So stay tuned if you want to become the best player of modern warships. Ok guys, so let me explain you the basics of this game, because this warships game is not not even related to any Warships game that you have ever played, okay? So this is not even close to the world of Warships experience. Remember that we're talking about modern equipment in this type of Warships, okay? So in modern Warships, we have a different type of Warships. So we have frigate destroyers, corvettes, submarines, ecranoplanes, battleships, and the aircraft carriers, okay? So there's a lot of different type of ships to use in this game okay so you will have everything if you like to play with uh, submarines or battleships or even Yamato okay so this is really crazy guys because even though this is a modern warships game we have world war 2 battleships and tons of submarines to use okay guys so let's begin with uh, tier 1 okay so this is actually the first warship that you receive once you begin to play the game okay so this is the uss hurricane okay so this is a good warship but my recommendation for you in tier one is the uss fort worth so this is actually the best uh, tier one warship in my opinion i recommend you this one because it has a helicopter a cannon and uh, a missile battery okay so we have to take into consideration that in this game we have uh, missiles cannons auto cannons air defense Grenade launchers, torpedoes, helicopters, fighters, strike fighters, and the bombers. Okay, so there's actually a lot of equipment to use in this game. But the equipment in tier 1 is limited, okay? So you only have uh, missiles and the cannon. Sometimes helicopter, because helicopters are not available in all the tier 1 ships, and the, the auto cannon. This warship has a higher durability compared to other tier 1 warships, okay? So we have other tier 1 warships like uh, this CN type 022, which is actually really fast. Okay, so as you can see, this one has a speed of 31 knots, but but the use for it worth it's actually 17 knots, which means that it is slower. Okay, so there's also a lot of tier 1 warships, but my recommendation is that one, okay? So we also have this incredible Indonesian warship, okay? But this one has a low durability. Okay, so once you purchase the warship, you will need to upgrade all the characteristics of the warships, okay? So you can upgrade all the abilities like the durability, speed, maneuvering ability, and the radar range. Okay, so as you can see, this warship is totally fully upgraded. You need to upgrade all the equipment as well. Yes, you need to upgrade the helicopters, the auto cannon, and the all the warships. Okay, so let me show you how it works. So you can purchase one upgrade points or 10 upgrade points, which will have a higher probability of upgrade. Okay, so this actually works like a lottery. Sometimes it may work and sometimes it won't work. Okay, so let me show you. So we can upgrade. Okay, so as you can see, it is at level 7 and now we can upgrade it to level 8. So the durability could increase from 52,514 points to 53,816 points. Okay, so let's uh, do it. And as you can see, the durability is upgraded. But notice something, and it is that the upgrade chance is decreased to 5%. So as you upgrade all the equipment of the warship, the upgrade chance will be decreased. Okay, so let's try to upgrade this. Okay, so as you can see, we failed to upgrade this warship right now. So let's try it again. Okay, nice. It seems like now it works. Okay, so remember that you will have to repeat all that process with all the characteristics and equipment of all your warships. Okay, but how you can get those upgrade points? Okay, so you have to go to the premium shop. So here you will find 
the upgrade point okay so you can purchase them with uh, dollars okay so dollars is one of the four currencies of the game we will talk about all the currencies of the game later so you can purchase five for one hundred and twenty five thousand dollars okay so i recommend to you this one which is 65 and th it has a price of one million two hundred fifty thousand dollars okay guys so now i'm gonna take you to a battle and th i will show you a basic tutorial for beginners in this game okay guys so we are in our first uh, battle of modern warships okay so i'm gonna show you how you should play this game okay so the first uh, thing that we must uh, do if we have a helicopter is that we must uh, deploy the helicopter and we must open the map okay so what is open the map okay so with the helicopters, if you fly towards the, the enemy, you will be able to detect the enemies with your radar before your warship does. Okay, so this is actually really important because this will give you advantage to your teammates and you will have a higher probability to win a battle. Okay, so let's try to get closer. Okay, so this is a slow helicopter because it is a tier 1 helicopter. Okay, so as you can see, we already detected uh, all the enemies, so let's try to get closer. Okay, so as you can see, we, we can cause uh, some damage with uh, this helicopter. Okay, so this is a minor damage because it is not uh, too powerful. Okay, so let's get back to our warship and uh, now we must uh, get a good position. We always should be close to our teammates, but we must get a good position. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how the missile works. Okay, so this is actually one of the easiest things to control these games okay so as you can see the missiles all you have to do is shoot okay so the missiles are controlled automatically okay so but with the cannon you will have to aim okay so as you can see we cause some damage there okay so now i'm gonna i'm gonna hold uh, this position i don't want to get too close to the enemies remember that trying to fight alone is a bad idea okay so as you can see we're causing a lot of damage to that warship it seems like we're going to destroy it okay so that's actually the same warship that i'm using right now okay so i'm gonna show you how to use the consumables okay so look at that guy <laughs> Poor guy. Okay, so now it's time to go back. Okay, so it seems like the enemies are coming forward. So we must stay in the best position possible. We're going to destroy it with our cannon. And we destroy it with the first warship. Okay, so let's do it with this one. Look at that. Okay, second warship destroyed. Okay, guys, so we got three consumables. The first one is this one that you can use with the letter E, bro. Okay, so let me use the repair kit, okay? So as you can see, as you can see, my health uh, will recover with uh, this consumable. Also, with the flares, look at that, you will be able to avoid the enemy missile attacks, okay? Also, if there's a jet or a helicopter firing missiles at you, you will be able to use flares and avoid those attacks. But in this case, if he's attacking you with a cannon, you can't do anything but hide. Okay, so we are four against two right now. Look at that. That's the USS Hurricane. Okay, look at that damage. Okay, that was a good damage. Nice! It was an assist. Okay, in this game, you can get assist if someone steals your eliminations. So... Look at that helicopter, okay? So you can't destroy helicopters with this equipment. Okay, look at that. We avoided that missile using the flames, okay? Nice! Bye-bye, my friend. Bro, he used the flames, but we destroyed that with our cannon. Okay, so as you can see, we cost at a match of 102,000 points. Two targets destroyed, and these are all the rewards that you can get, okay? So you can get dollars and the gold bars okay guys once you reach level 5 you'll be able to play with the tier 2 equipment okay so this is when this game gets better because you will be able to get access to a lot of new weapons new warships and the new equipment also at tier 2 you will be able to use 
aircraft carriers. Yes, you will be able to play with jets, drones, helicopters, and a lot of different equipment from a lot of nations. Also, you will be ready to use uh, submarines, okay? So there's actually a lot of submarines and uh, even uh, granoplanes. Now I'm going to show you how you can make an efficient grind in order to reach tier 3 faster and level up, get more dollars and the more currencies of the game. So, I will recommend you 3 warships to grind in tier 2. The first one is the RF Derski. Ok, so as you can see, this warship is equipped with 2 missiles, a cannon, torpedoes, a helicopter, and we have air defense. Ok, so this is actually good equipment for a tier 2 Warships. Another warship that I recommend you is the HMS Duncan, okay, so this time we have three missiles Which means that we can cause a lot of damage to the enemy warships, okay, so we also have a cannon, a helicopter, an auto cannon, and the air defense, okay, so There's actually a lot of warships that you can choose but uh, this is my personal recommendation. Another tier 2 warship that I recommend you is the ENS Chennai. Okay, so this warship is really good because it has the most complete equipment for a tier 2 warship. Okay, so we have uh, missile, cannon, grenade launcher, torpedo launcher. Okay, so this will be really useful to fight against the uh, submarines. Okay, so trust me, the submarines are a headache in this game. Also, with the grenade launchers, you will be able to destroy warships, but that's not all, because you will be able to destroy enemy torpedoes and the submarines as well. So, it is really important to have uh, these grenade launchers in your warship. So, a lot of players ask me if this tier 2 ecranoplane is worth it or not. Okay, so in my opinion, the RF Loon is not worth it because it cost around 6,000 gold bars if I'm not wrong. Okay, so the only good thing about this Crown Paint is that it is actually the fastest ship of the game. Okay, so as you can see it has a speed of 42 knots. But uh, this is not uh, useful because this is actually the weakest uh, warship or a chronoplane of the game. So you could be destroyed uh, easily. Also, there are some warships that you can purchase with gold, such as the Marta Dinara warship, which in my opinion is actually one of the best tier 2 warships of the game. Okay, so this type of warships will give you 20% more dollars and 20% more gold okay so this is actually additional to the premium account that you can use okay so let's talk about the premium account i truly recommend you to purchase the premium account before buying any worship this is the first uh, thing that you must uh, do okay so this will give you 50 percent more experience 50 percent more gold and 50 percent more it is actually a good booster if you want to grind uh, faster. So, I'm gonna show you how you should grind with uh, this warship, okay? So this is the Marta Dinara warship. Later, I will teach you how you can get more gold uh, bars. Okay, guys, so as you can see, these are the game modes of the game, okay? So this deathmatch is a limited time mode okay so as you can see the winner is the one who destroys the largest numbers of opponents in the lotted time okay so as you can see the quick game is actually the normal online battles in the offline game you will only face enemy bots okay so this will be an easier mode and this is the best way to grind and the practice okay so there are also the squadron wars if you want to play with your friends in the, the custom game to create private uh, rooms. Okay guys, so in order to grind faster, I recommend you a small map, such as Storm. Okay, so I will show you why this is the best map to grind in offline mode. Okay, so we're going to deploy our helicopter and we're going to try to destroy all the enemies. Okay, so remember that we're fighting against the bots, so this will be easy, I guess. So remember that the first uh, thing that we must uh, do is open the map. Okay, so let's try to search for some enemies. Okay, so we already opened uh, the map. Let's try to fire some missiles, the torpedoes. Let's try to get closer. Okay, so it seems like there's one warship remaining uh, over here, I guess. 
so we got the four warships there. Okay, nice. Okay, so remember that with the helicopters you will also have players that you can use to avoid the enemy missiles. Okay, so let me... Bro, I crashed with that building. Okay, so that was bad. Okay, so as you can see, in an open map like this, you'll be able to destroy the enemies and the cause the most possible amount of the match. Okay, so that's actually what you need in order to complete all the missions of the game and to level up faster. Okay, so you will get more experience, you will receive more dollars and more gold. Okay, so let's try to destroy that aircraft carrier. Look at that. Okay, so there are not uh, too much tactics to use in offline mode, okay? But I have to tell you that the bots in this game are pretty aggressive, okay? So it's not like it would be so easy, but it will have a certain level of difficulty. So let's try to destroy this warship now. Look at that, we use the torpedoes, the cannons, and the missiles. And we're going to be able to destroy that guy, so let's use everything it right now. Okay, so it seems like we're going to destroy that warship. Nice. Okay, so it was an assist. What are you doing, my friend? Let's destroy this warship right now. Okay, so it's that, that warship, that aircraft carrier is trying to destroy me. Okay, so let's try to destroy this warship now. Look at that. We're going to destroy this gravely warship. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Nice. It was destroyed. It was another assist. That was so bad. Okay, so now we're going to destroy this aircraft carrier. Look at that. We have a submarine. Okay, so this. This is how you can avoid all the enemy missiles with the planes abroad. Those boats are going to destroy me. What are you doing? No way. Okay, so let's try to destroy this Nimitz aircraft carrier. This is what we're going to do right now. Let's fire the missile torpedoes. And, uh, okay, so we already crossed the 700,000 the match. Okay, so almost. Look at that, yes. Okay, another enemy destroyed. Okay, so this is actually the last one. Okay, so let's fire the torpedoes, the missiles, and uh, now let's use the cannons. Okay, so this is actually the most efficient way to grind in this game, as you can see. This is all the equipment, okay, so th there's actually not a strategy in this kind of battles, to be honest. So, I'm gonna show you this. Look at this. Okay, so we gained 38,000 points of experience. We got 725,000 gold bars. Okay, this, this is actually enough to buy a warship, okay, so it is good. So, we got 6 gold bars. So remember that you will always have a daily mission. Okay, so as you can see, it will be way easier to complete uh, these missions in offline mode. Okay, so we already destroyed four warships, we already destroyed uh, six aircrafts, and we completed uh, this one. Okay, so we inflict 500,000 points of the match in a battle. Okay, so we receive uh, a consumable and uh, some pass points. And I'm going to show you the battle pass right now. So, as you can see, there are three sections in the Battle Pass. Okay, so there's the VIP section, the Premium section, which is the blue one, and the also the Free section, which is the green one. Okay, so you can purchase the VIP Pass, which will give you access to four instant rewards, and also access to the Premium Rewards as well. Okay, so you can buy this pass with 1,500 world marks. Okay, so this is the currency of the PC version. But if you want to buy just the premium pass, it will be cheaper, but you won't receive those for instant rewards. So the most efficient way to complete the battle pass is to complete the daily missions. Okay, so you will also have daily rewards while you logging the game. Okay, so. This is the reward that you will get at day 28. You will receive a tier 3 worship. Okay, so the devs occasionally change these rewards. Okay, so sometimes you may see this, but in the future, this may change. Okay, guys, so now I will give you my recommendation for your first aircraft carrier. Okay, so there's actually a lot of aircraft carriers for tier 
too. But my recommendation for you should be an aircraft carrier like the Giuseppe Garibaldi. Okay, so why this one? Okay, so first of all, because this aircraft carrier is equipped with missiles and cannons. Okay, so also it has torpedoes. So you need an aircraft carrier well equipped. For example, the USS Nimitz, it's a good aircraft carrier. It has drones, fighters. But you cannot defend your aircraft carrier with your equipment. I mean, the only thing that you have is an auto cannon. Okay, so this is bad because you will be an easy target for the enemies. I also recommend you the Novorossiysk aircraft carrier. Okay, so this is another aircraft carrier that you can purchase for a few thousand gold uh, bars. This is actually one of the best, if not the best, in my opinion. The same goes for the HMS Queen Elizabeth, okay? So I actually don't recommend you this one because you don't have uh, missiles or cannons. The Admiral Kutnesov, it's actually a good option, okay? So it has a price of 4 million dollars and you have uh, missiles, grenade launchers, strike fighters, fighter and a helicopter, I mean this is actually more complete compared with the USS Nimitz and the Queen Elizabeth aircraft carrier. Okay, so there are a lot of good aircraft carrier, but that is my recommendation, okay? So in my opinion, this one is the best tier 2 aircraft carrier. And now I will make a quick guide about how to play and use an aircraft carrier in this game. Okay guys, so the first thing you need to do is open the map, okay? So we're going to fly towards the enemy base in order to open the map and to help our teammates, okay? So that's the first thing we must do. This is a heavy strike fighter. This is the A-10, which actually I consider that is one of the best tier 2 strike fighters, okay? So we already opened the, the map. There are some enemies, and so let's try to attack that warship over there, bro. That was bad. I deployed the bombs. Okay, so let's use some players. And now let's go back our aircraft carrier because we must do something important too. Okay, guys. So now we must find a safe position for our aircraft carrier. Okay, so we don't want to be detected by the enemies. So we want to hide behind some obstacles like mountains or in this case some icebergs and uh, now we can deploy our helicopters and uh, also the fighters so you should be careful with the angle because if you deploy your jets here those jets will crash with the mountain okay so let's deploy our fighters as you can see we can destroy the enemy jets with uh, this type of equipment okay so let's try to destroy those jets as you can see let's try to get closer look at that Okay, so we can use missiles and also our cannons. Okay, so let's try to destroy those jets. He's using flares, but I think we're going to destroy them. Look at that. That was nice. That's the last one. And we destroyed all those jets. Okay, so let's keep using the A-10. Okay, so when you return to your aircraft carrier, you will be able to restore the health of your jet. So, as you can see... The strike fighters get repaired once you cross the aircraft carrier. So let's try to find uh, for some enemies. Let's try to destroy some warships. Okay, so it seems like we're losing uh, this uh, battle. Okay, so let's try to win this. Let's do some plays, some cannons. Okay, so now we must uh, return to our aircraft carrier. Let's try. Okay, so it is really important that you should use the mountain as covers in order to avoid enemy missiles and always use the flares. Okay, so let's repair this. And as you can see, our jets got repaired. And remember that if one of your jets gets destroyed, it will automatically take off again from the aircraft carrier. Okay, so this is actually a cool feature, to be honest. Okay, so it seems like we destroyed an enemy. Okay, so. Let's try to destroy... Okay, so that's a submarine, but it is underwater and we cannot do anything against the submarine targets. Okay, so let's try to destroy that Admiral Good to stop. Okay, this is really nice. Look at that damage, guys. Okay, so it seems like we're going to destroy this aircraft carrier, okay? Let's try to deploy some bombs. And that was a perfect hit, guys. Okay, so that's actually how to deploy uh, bombs in this game. So let's try to come back again. Okay, so, bro, I only have two strike fighters. 
This is a bad idea. Now only one. Okay, so this will be really difficult because I don't have more players. So we need to, to come back as fast as possible. So remember that you can return automatically to your aircraft carrier. Okay, so it is a cool feature that will make everything easier. Okay, so now let's use the strike fighters once again and let's try to destroy that aircraft carrier. Okay, so it actually seems like it was destroyed already. So we should destroy now this Itkayo Twilio. Okay, he already used some players, but we will be able to destroy this guy. Look at this damage, 50,000 bro, that's a lot. Okay, so let's use this. Now let's use the bombs. Okay, bro, that was so nice, but it seems like he's going to destroy all my strike fighters. So, okay, so we must come back to our base. So what can we do right now? Should we deploy the helicopter? Let's try to deploy the helicopter. Okay, so there's the, the Sea Wolf uh, submarine. Okay, so let's try to destroy... Oh, bro, it was destroyed already. All the enemies were destroyed. So it was a nice uh, battle, guys. We're three against the one right now. So that's the last enemy. So it seems like we'll be able to destroy that guy. So let's try to get closer. Remember that there's a certain range uh, with uh, the missiles of your fighters. So once the enemy used the flares, you will be able to attack him again. So let's try to use our cannons. Look at that. Uh, this is so nice. Okay, so let's deploy the missiles once again. Some flares. Now the bombs. Okay, so it seems like we're going to win this battle. So let's try to attack that enemy warship. Okay, so this is the final attack. Look at this. Okay, bro. We win this battle already. Nice. Okay, so zero targets destroyed, but we helped a lot our teammates. There are two types of flight mode in this game. The first one is arcade mode and the second one is ace combat mode. Okay, so arcade mode is just for beginners. I mean, it is easier to control your planes, but your maneuvers will be limited. Okay, so with ace combat, the experience will be more realistic. Plus, you will have uh, more control over your strike fighters, uh, bombers, or uh, fighters, okay? So this is actually the best uh, way to play this game. It will be more realistic and uh, you will be able to perform more maneuvers. Okay, guys, so there are two strike fighters that you can buy in the market. Those are the SU-47 Burkut and the A-10 Thunderbolt. Okay, so those two are the best uh, tier 2 strike fighters of the game and uh, they are pretty cheap compared uh, with the rest of equipment. Uh, remember that all of this is tier 3 equipment and uh, only those two are the tier 2 strike fighters. Also, in the equipment shop you will be able to buy more strike fighters for dollars. Okay, so the F-14 Tomcat it's actually a good strike fighter too. Okay, so we have uh, some Russian strike fighters like the SU-34 and the Jack-38. Also, we have the Harrier strike fighter and uh, the F-2A that you can purchase for 700 gold uh, bars. In the fighter section, I recommend you the F-18 Hornet. Okay, so you can also purchase uh, this T-4 Japanese fighter for 400 gold uh, bars. Okay guys, so there's actually a lot of tier 2 submarines, okay? So we have the USS Seawolf, the CN Type 636, and also we have the Russian RF Kursk and the RF Barracuda. Okay, so my recommendation if you want to purchase your first submarine is the CN Type 092. Okay, so there are some missiles that can be used underwater, okay? So these are nuclear missiles that you can use in submerged submarines okay so this is the equipment of this submarine we have uh, some torpedoes for tier 2 this is actually the best one in terms of the match okay so it can cost 21,700 
the match points. So now I will show you the best way to use uh, submarines in this game. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna make the most complete guide about submarines in tier 2. Okay, so there are some basic things that you should learn, such as this one. There's a new consumable available in the submarines. Those are the torpedo decoys. So with uh, this new consumable, you'll be able to avoid all the enemy torpedoes, okay? So maybe some warships and uh, even some submarines could fire torpedoes against uh, your submarine. Okay, so let me avoid uh, this uh, missile with the players. And uh, all you need to do is use your torpedo decoys. The oxygen in the submarines is limited, so you need to save as much as possible. So what you need to do is to stay in the surface until you find uh, the enemies. So there are some torpedoes over there, so if we deployed the torpedo decoys, as you can see, we already avoided uh, those torpedoes successfully. Okay, so something that I recommend you is not to stay in the open. Okay, so right now I'm going to deploy some flares and submerge my submarines okay, so we can fire some missiles okay so this is a really important uh, technique that I learned the first the thing that you should do is to fire the first uh, missile then if the enemy deploy flares you will be able to attack uh, with the rest of your missiles so let me try to do it again I don't want to get in the open part of the map okay so my teammates are here so I'm staying here look at that okay so let's try to destroy that enemy warship let's see if he deploy some flares if he does we'll be, we will be able to attack with the other missile okay so he didn't it seems like we're going to destroy that submarine okay so let's try to deploy the torpedo decoys once again and to get closer to those guys okay so my teammates are following me they, are, they already know what is the plan so it seems like that warship is going to be destroyed nice okay so let's try to get closer and we will destroy the first warship in this battle okay so let's continue here something interesting about this map is that there are secret passages that are only accessible by using submarines okay so oh there's a aircraft carrier over there that's Giuseppe Garibaldi okay so let's try to get closer bro I don't know if this is a good idea right now because there are some enemy warships here let's try to fire the torpedoes and put the missiles against uh, this guy okay so it was destroyed that warship he used the flares so look at this okay so we're going to bro he used the flares again yes it seems let's do it now bro he's crashing what are you doing my friend are you scared bro look at that it seems like we're going to destroy that warship we're gonna do it okay so let's get back in the surface and let's try to destroy that enemy warship I'm gonna follow that guy you're not going to hide my friend you're not going to hide okay so there's an aircraft carrier right there okay so I think that we should focus on this aircraft carrier this is what we're going to do right now let's fire the torpedoes and I'm gonna follow this guy too so there's a submarine over there I don't know if we should destroy that submarine first but it seems like we're going to destroy this aircraft carrier okay so let's deploy the flares and the, the torpedo decoys nice okay so that was a destroyed uh, warship look at that we're going to destroy this Garibaldi aircraft carrier bye bye my friend okay so that's another aircraft carrier destroyed okay so it was an assist let's follow this guy bro where are you going okay so there's only one enemy remaining okay guys so as i told you this is the best way to use uh, someone okay so let's try to recover and uh, don't waste uh, the oxygen remember that there is only one enemy remaining uh, in this battle so the best uh, thing to do is to keep it uh, in the surface and uh, restore our oxygen so let's try to get closer okay so he's right there now we should go back underwater let's deploy some place we can also deploy some torpedo decoys 
if we're gonna be able to destroy this guy okay so we can also use the underwater rocks as cover okay so as you can see we're going to avoid uh, those torpedoes just by staying here so there's a collision hazard here i don't know why bro we crashed with the <laughs> okay so let's try to attack this warship okay look at that it, it seems like we're going to okay nice it was a nice hit with the torpedoes yes okay perfect let's deploy the torpedo decoys once again bro this is going to be so nice bro look at that guys there's no way <laughs> okay so let's fire the torpedoes once again and uh, the missing so look at this okay so let me see what we can do right now oh bro we're going to destroy that enemy and we did it another assist okay guys so as you can see we didn't destroy any target but the submarines are really useful in a team so it is a really important role that could help to get a win in every single match of this game okay guys so let's take a deep dive into the currencies of the game okay so the first one is only available for the pc version this is the world marks okay so you purchase this for real money okay so as you can get 500 world marks are five dollars and 10,000 world marks are 99 dollars okay so then once you purchase the world marks you will be able to purchase all the currencies of the game with the world marks so you will be able to purchase gold dollars and the art coins okay so as you can see the gold is useful to purchase special warships and special items like jets cannons and sometimes missiles or grenade launcher so as you can see if we go to the equipment shop in the missile section there are some equipment that are only available for gold bars such as this missile okay so you can purchase this missile with gold bars also there are some fighters for example this one from tier 2 that you will be able to purchase for gold gold is important because you will be able to purchase one of the best battleships of the game okay so there are actually two which are Yamato and the Missouri okay so you will be able to purchase those incredible battleships for a few thousand gold bars okay so I truly recommend you those warships to grind so this will be an incredible way to grind and remember that you will have this booster okay so the 20 percent additional dollars and the gold which will be really important okay guys so the next currency is uh, dollars okay so okay guys so the dollars are important because you can purchase warships jets strike fighters and the, the consumables so remember that this is kind of the most important currency of the game but don't worry because you will receive this currency for free just by playing the game and completing some missions also in the events and the battle pass you will receive some free dollars okay so those are the upgrade points and now let's talk about the art coins okay so the art coins is a special currency only useful in the market of the game okay so what is the market okay so listen at this carefully in the market that you will be able to sell only the vip and the special equipment okay so you will be able to sell the special reward of the battle pass remember that in the battle pass you will always get a, a warship at level 40 okay so as you, as you can see at this time we got uh, this one this is the HMS Glasgow type 26 okay so you will be able to sell this warship in the market same as this grenade launcher which is a premium item okay so you will be able to sell this one in the market so as you can see here you can purchase and sell all of your equipment that you don't use or that you want to purchase okay so there are warships strike fighters fighters drones bombers helicopters even equipment such as torpedoes grenade launchers cannons air defense and the missiles okay guys so let's talk about the vault coins what is this currency okay guys so 
With uh, this currency you will be able to purchase uh, rewards from previous battle passes. So, if you purchase the VIP pass, you will receive 70 volt coins. Yes, some of them will be free and uh, to receive some of them you need a premium account. So, as you can see, this is the currency and uh, this is the season storage. Okay, so, as you can see, I already completed... Uh, this one and if you spend 70 volt coins you will receive all of these rewards but you will have to pay in order to unlock all of these rewards okay so once you pay the volt pass you will receive two instant rewards which could be a camouflage and a helicopter as it is in this case so then you will be able to purchase the rest of the rewards with your volt coins so I'm gonna show you all the possible ways to get uh, more dollars and the more gold Okay, so the first one was that one that I showed you that is playing offline game mode and the completing missions Okay, in the mobile version of the game you'll be able to watch ads and in return you will get $50,000 per video, okay, same goes for the gold you will be able to watch uh, some ads and uh, you will get uh, 30 gold bars I guess so there's actually another way to get more dollars okay so in the equipment shop you can also sell your items so if you have some missiles that you don't use anymore you can sell those items and you will receive an incredible amount of dollars for those things okay so you can sell your helicopters your cannons and all this type of stuff also you can sell the vip pass in the equipment shop and you will get a lot of gold bars so if you purchase this bomber in the last battle pass you will be able to sell it for 4000 gold bars sometimes there are some special discounts like uh, this one you'll be able to get 10 million dollars for 500 world marks which will be something close to five dollars okay so it's not too much i guess that's my opinion but uh, that's actually another way to get dollars in the game also remember that while you complete the battle pass you will be able to get free gold three dollars and if you purchase the premium or the vip pass you will get additional gold and the additional dollars okay guys but definitely the best way to get more gold and dollars in this game is purchasing a gold warship like uh, this one okay so this one has a price of 5000 gold bars and as i already told you it will give you 20 percent more gold 20 percent more dollars but if you combine this with the premium account you will get even more gold and for more dollars so this is some kind of pay to fast stuff but it makes sense in my opinion also every time you level up you will receive rewards such as gold uh, dollars and as you progress the rewards will be better okay so you will get uh, missiles grenade launcher and uh, also more powerful equipment such as strike fighters tier 3 cannons nuclear weapons and uh, much more every month the devs create events like uh, this one where you will be able to get uh, even more gold uh, dollars and the free rewards okay so this is actually the current event that is available right now okay so as you can see i received premium account for one day and 100 gold uh, bars okay so here you can get a free flag some free missiles as you can see and at the end you will be able to unlock a free helicopter okay so there's also a free section of this event and there's also a bundle okay so if you complete the event you will be able to get a 90 percent discount in this worship uh, bundle okay so this is the cn liren worship okay so this is a really powerful worship you will get it a few luck picks which is the special currency of this event and uh, some consumables okay so there's always uh, this type of gacha or lotteries system in the game so there are two ways to get uh, this type of rewards the first one is just to play the game but you will get a small amount of unlocks okay so it is actually limited so if you want to get more you can purchase those things for real money okay so you will be able to unlock more rewards for example in this event you will get access to a lot of rewards such as uh, this submarine which is the isanami submarine it's a really cool 
submarine also the Vaylord helicopter which is actually a VIP helicopter of the game that you can sell and get some gold uh, bars some flags and even more entrant badge okay so this is actually the main reward of the event this is the joint strike ship okay so as you can see it is an epic warship so it will be really difficult to get uh, this reward that's why they said that this warship is guaranteed in 1200 unlocks so sometimes you will have to spend money in order to get this type of rewards okay so there are always leaderboards in this event but these leaderboards are for the players who spent the most money i guess so you will get special rewards such as avatars okay so we will talk about avatars too and also art coins okay so there will be some kind of daily missions but for the limited time mode i'm talking about the death match which is a limited time game mode so you will get some rewards if you complete these missions okay guys so now let's talk about the equipment shop of the game okay so in the equipment shop you will be able to buy all type of equipment available for your warship and your level remember that tier 2 goes from level 5 to level 15 after level 15 you will reach tier 3 and you will be able to get more special rewards so as you can see there are the missiles available in the game right now so i already made a special video talking about the equipment shop so you can see that video if you're interested in the price of all the items once you reach tier 2 and the tier 3 okay so as you can see it is divided in a lot of sections i will show you this with uh, the missiles okay so these are the tier 1 missiles as you can see it is a cheap price comprehended between the 35 thousand dollars and forty thousand dollars okay so it's not uh, too expensive it's actually a reasonable amount of money okay once you reach tier 2 you will have uh, more missiles to use okay so the price increase a little bit also you will get access to nuclear weapons okay so we will test uh, this nuclear missile later okay so as you can see the tier 2 has a lot of missiles okay so there's a lot of equipment and it gets more expensive okay so we have legendary items okay so this kind of legendary items are only available for the players who has that title of legendary player remember that there are two types of titles in this game legendary status and hero status okay so how you can get that there's only one way and it is by playing tournaments okay so how you can play those tournaments you need to join the official discord community of modern warships okay so there's a special section for those type of tournaments then if you win one of those tournaments you will be eligible to get the legendary or the hero status okay so here we reach the tier 3 and the tier 3 equipment okay so we have more complex weapons so we have anti-submarine missiles so we have more powerful nuclear missiles we have anti-aircraft missiles and a lot of new stuff also once you reach level 20 you will unlock a new equipment okay so this equipment is epic and the best equipment of the game you will have access to the x51 guided missile also this is an anti-aircraft missiles the s-500 prometheus russian missile also the zircon missile so this is a hypersonic missile which is actually one of the best missiles of the game right now okay so there's actually a lot of recognizable missiles such as the df-17 but once you reach the level 25 you will unlock more rewards okay so you will unlock uh, those uh, missiles which are considered uh, legendary items so at uh, this point uh, you don't need the legendary status to purchase the, these items but uh, you will need to be at level 25 at least to purchase uh, this equipment okay so this is an anti-aircraft missile and uh, those are hypersonic missiles so it is the same for all the equipment shop okay so as i already told you you will be unlocking new rewards once you reach a higher level okay so the same goes for auto cannons air defense grenade launchers torpedoes helicopters and strike fighters okay so as you can see those are the fighters available at tier 2 
with the fighters available at tier 3 but these are only the free items because remember that you can purchase a lot of VIP and the premium items in the market and there's a lot of new jets and the strike fighters so as you can see these are the strike fighters available for tier 2 and the strike fighters available in tier 3 so we only have two drones available for tier 2 those are the scat drone and the MQ-9 Reaper. Then at tier 3 we will be able to unlock uh, those drones, okay? So as you can see there are a lot of cool drones here. Also remember that in the market you will purchase more drones for art coins. Something really important. The bombers are only available once you reach level 25, okay? So you cannot use bombers before level 25. So you will have to grind a lot in order to try these bombers or maybe if you purchase uh, bombers with the real money or with art coins you will be able to use it earlier in the market so as you can see there are a lot of bombers available right here so how can you get more art coins okay so i will explain you that uh, right now so the first way to get art coins is to complete uh, the battle pass and to get uh, the last uh, reward i'm talking about this worship and you will be able to get some art coins with uh, this worship for free okay all you need to do is to play the game okay so this is how you can make profit from art coins but for this method you need art coins to do it okay so i will show you you go to the market you need at least like i would say uh, let's start with 400 art coins it's a decent amount okay so you go to trade and let's start with for example let me see with this bomber over here this is sdv1 okay so the cheapest price of this bomber is 425 art coins okay and the highest bid is 350 art coins remember that every single time that we buy something in the market the game takes 20% of the total revenue of an item. So this basically means that if we buy this item in 425 art coins, this means that we already lost 20% of its value. So we have to use a, cal a calculator for this, okay? So we open the calculator. Okay, so we have to calculate the 20% of 425. Okay, so we select 425 and we multiply it by 0 0.20% okay so the 20% is 85 okay so 425 minus 85 340 art coins is the best bid that we can do in order to get this 20% of art coins okay so we have to buy this item for 340 art coins and then we will be able to sell it in a higher price so let's make a bid okay so the price will be 340 42 okay so let's make this bid okay and let's accept this okay guys so we already make a bid for this bumper so let's see if we can get it okay so this is actually a nice bid I guess Okay guys, so this is the proof that this method works. Remember the offer that I made for this bomber? I actually bought uh, this bomber for 342 art coins. And uh, look at this. Now the price of this bomber is around 550 art coins. Which means that I earned 200 art coins with uh, this purchase. This is a really nice profit. Also check uh, this. I bought uh, the F7 for 360 art coins. And now the price of this jet is 500 art coins. And you can see that in all of my trades. For example, look at the price of this Gripen jet. And this was the price that I used to bought this jet. How to predict prices in the market. And how to make the best transactions possible. Okay, so here we have a good example. Today the Hangzhou worship was added to the market. And as you can see, it has a price of 700 art coins. We can see that there are 1000 pieces available, which is a lot. 
So basically this means since it is the first day we have a cheap price So we must buy this ship today but not for 700 art coins Remember that they take 20% of every trade So if the price of this item is 700 art coins they will get 140 art coins We must make an offer of 560 art coins this is the best bid possible, so you have to be lucky enough in order to purchase this worship. So as you can see I'm already buying this item. So maybe you're thinking that this is a bad trick and this doesn't work, but I have proof of my trades. So as you can see I bought this bomber for 340 art coins. So the price of this bomber right now is 518 art coins. So the difference is more than 100 art coins. So I bought the Belgorod summary the very first day that it was added to the market. And I know that the price would increase because the prices of all items in the first days after being added to the market is really low. So you must expect those prices to rise after several weeks or even months. So as you can see now the price of Belgorod is 550 art coins which means that I make a profit of 150 art coins that's a huge profit to be honest so as you can see I bought uh, this F7 for 360 art coins and the price of this item right now is 500 art coins okay let me show you this case remember that the price of each 6 bomber was around 2000 art coins but remember that the devs released uh, this bomber for free in an event yes i'm talking about the lotteries this caused the price of this bomber to drop significantly so now the price of this bomber is 550 art coins so this actually means that as soon as you see that an old object it's going to be featured as a free reward you must sell it as fast as possible the price of atomaga missile was around 1600 art coins and remember that in the last event we got this missile as a free reward so now the price of this missile is around 349 art coins which is really low a lot of players actually lost a lot of art coins in this trade another example are the bundles so remember that the price of j25 jet was 6000 art coins so this was the peak price of this jet but what happened? Remember that recently this jet was added as a bundle so players could actually bought it with real money so therefore the units available of this jet increased causing the price to drop at the same time so now you can see that it cost half of its original price yes 3000 art coins so if you want my advice you should buy right now the Hangzhou class and also look at this the new bomber cost 405 art coins this is really really cheap so you should buy this as soon as possible because i'm pretty sure that the price of this bomber will increase in the future okay guys another important thing to predict the prices are the nerf and buffs Yes, when an item is nerfed, it means that the price of that item will decrease. And if that item gets buffed, it will increase. For example, the CH-1 helicopter was nerfed a few months ago. So, as you can see, after it was nerfed, the price of that item dropped significantly. Okay, so another topic that I wanted to talk about is the price of the Arsenal ship. Why is this warship too expensive? Actually, it is the most expensive item of the game. Okay, so I'm going to explain to you. There are a few units of this warship. I'm talking about less than 100 Arsenal in the game. So, this caused the price to increase since it became a limited item. That's why the devs have to regulate the prices of those uh, warships in the market. Okay guys, so finally we reach the most interesting part of the game. I'm talking about tier 3. Once you reach tier 3, you will get access to the most powerful warships and the weapons of the game. So the tier 3 begins at level 15. But uh, this is not uh, the end, because there are other warships that can only be unlocked at level 25, such as this one. This is the USS CGX-21 
worship. Okay, so as you can see, if we compare the price of a normal tier 3 worship and uh, this one, you can see that there's a big uh, difference. Okay, so this one has a price of 70 million dollars. If, for example, the Admiral Nakimov, which is actually a worship that I recommend you for tier 3 beginners, has a price of 15 million and 600,000 dollars. Okay, so this is really cool. There are also some good and powerful aircraft carriers available in tier 3. So there are some aircraft carriers that are not too expensive to be honest, such as the USS America and the Gerald Ford. So if you want my recommendation for tier 3 beginners, there are three ships that I recommend you. Those are the Admiral Nakimov, the Bella Gulf and the RF Variag warship okay so this is actually not uh, the original equipment of this warship i changed it but uh, you can make uh, good uh, builds in this type of warships okay so those warships has a high durability okay so look at this 507,000 points of durability there are also some warships that will be available for gold such as this one this is the veliki okay so you can purchase this for gold. Also, this is not uh, the original camouflage of this uh, warship. This is a bundle that I bought uh, for real money. So this is actually something interesting because in tier 3 there's a lot of warships that you can purchase only for real money or art coins. There are some bundles, for example, this one which was the most uh, recent uh, bundle of the game, which is the CN Liren Warship. Okay, so as you can see, this is a really powerful warship that will give you 20% more dollars and 20% uh, more gold. Okay, so there are a lot of rewards from the battle passes such as this one. This is the current uh, reward uh, of this battle pass. This is the HMS Glasgow Type 26 Warship. Okay, so this is a good warship. You can also sell it in the market. And uh, there's also a lot of tier 3 warships that you can purchase in the market. For example, the Yamato Aegis, which is not uh, the same battleship as Yamato, because we have two types of Yamato in this game. The World War II battleship and the modern concept of this battleship. Okay, so this is the modern concept and this one is equipped with missiles. Okay, so I will show you the difference right now. Okay, so let me search for that Yamato battleship. Okay, so as you can see, this is the normal Yamato battleship of the game that you can purchase for some gold uh, bars. Okay, so this is actually one of the best uh, battleships to grind in the game. And here we have the modern version of the Yamato. Okay, so as you can see, this one is equipped with uh, missiles, grenade launchers, cannons and also laser air defense okay guys this is crazy we have a lot of things such as this fixed air defense if we compare it with the original air defense of Yamato which actually I consider that this is the worst air defense of the game okay so the bombers are the nightmare of this battleship also we have cool battleships as RF Moscow okay so remember that this is another battleship that could be only purchased in the market too same for Admiral Isakov okay so Admiral Isakov was a bundle but I'm pretty sure that it will be added in the market soon so I'm not gonna talk too much about the bundle warships because I know that a lot of you are not thinking to purchase one of these right now so I'm gonna focus in the normal warships that you can purchase okay so I already talked about the RF Baryak and also in my opinion the best warship that you can purchase for tier 3 beginners is this one this is the Ulyanovsk aircraft carrier, okay, so it is cheap because there's another aircraft carrier that you can purchase with the dollars but it is more expensive. So you should begin with uh, this one. This is actually the original equipment uh, of this aircraft carrier. Let me equip an auto cannon right here. I'm going to equip uh, this one which is actually a legendary auto cannon. This is the rapid fire. So you can see this is the equipment of this aircraft carrier. We have uh, the SU-57 Strike Fighter, the Octonic uh, Drone, 
and the Black Ghost Helicopter. Then, in the future, I recommend you the best aircraft carrier available for dollars, but this is only purchasable after level 25. This is the RF Storm. Okay, so in this one, you will be able to purchase bombers. Okay, so remember that the only bombers available for dollars in this game are the V-21, the Pagda, and the Xi'an H-20 Bomber. Remember that the bombers are only available after reaching level 25 as well. Also, there are a lot of bombers that you can purchase with art coins, such as this one or this SDB-1 bombers. And of course, there are some aircraft carriers that you can purchase with gold, such as the CN Type 004, the Suikaku aircraft carrier, the Punk aircraft carrier is not available in the market yet. This one was sold as a bundle and in my opinion, this is the best aircraft carrier of the game. Okay, so you will have bombers, strike fires, drones, but something important is that you will have torpedoes and the missiles with this aircraft carrier. Also a powerful air defense, which is really important in this type of aircraft carriers. Also, there's another Ekranon plane available in tier 3. We have the Pin Special Argonas Ekranon plane. Okay, so the only way to purchase this is in the market. It has a price of 20,000 art coins. It has a powerful equipment, it is really fast, and it's a good option to play this game. Okay guys, so if we talk about submarines, there are mythic submarines in tier 3. We have the Belgorod nuclear submarine. This is the only submarine in the game with nuclear torpedoes. Yes, we have the Poseidon torpedo and also we have nuclear missiles. Okay, so this is a really powerful equipment for a submarine. In my opinion, this is the best submarine of the game right now. But uh, this is only purchasable in the market for some art coins as well. Okay, so all those uh, submarines are available only for art coins. I'm talking about the Izanami, the SMX-31, and the SMX-25. Okay, so there are two types of submarines in this game. Okay, so there are ones that are torpedo spammers, such as this one, which is actually the best uh, torpedo spammer, in my opinion, and the missile spammers, such as the CN Type 100. Bro, look at this. This one only has one torpedo slot and we have one, two, three, four, five, five uh, missile slots. Okay, so this is crazy, guys. This one has a price of 18,000 gold bars. But if you want to purchase a submarine with dollars, my recommendation for you is the USS Ohio. Okay, so this is another missile spammer that you can use. Also, the CN Type 096 is a good torpedo and the missile spammer that you can purchase for a couple million dollars. Okay guys, so I'm gonna give you a quick guide through the air defenses of the game. So, there's actually a lot of air defenses that you can purchase. For example, there are the lasers air defense, such as the Excalibur laser air defense that will be only available at level 25. Okay, so this one has a price of 2,500 gold bars. There's the Insect laser, but it is only available for the players who has the hero title. Okay, so there's only available for those players, for those players, and it has a price of 4 million dollars okay so my favorite air defense of the game and which i consider is actually the best is the panzer air defense okay so this russian air defense is really nice and useful in every single warship of the game so there are other several air defenses that can be purchased in the market okay so i'm going to show you if you go to the market there's actually a big section of air defenses Okay, so most of them are lasers air defense, such as the Helios laser. You know, this one is actually one of the cheapest. Also, this one, the Oerlikon Hell. Oh, okay, so that's actually a good air defense too. So this equipment is not as expensive as the strike fighters or drones. So this is actually a good uh, option that you can purchase in the market. Okay, so you will also have grenade launchers in the market. This is actually my favorite. This is a nuclear grenade launcher that can fire submerged targets. Yes, you can attack underwater submarines with this grenade launcher. Also, there are two types of grenade launchers in this game. 
we have the normal grenade launchers that all you need to do is to aim at the enemy but those grenade launchers are not too accurate and the, also we have other type of grenade launchers that works as guided missiles such as this one and uh, this one the PKXV grenade launcher okay so as you can see this this was more expensive but now it is cheap I guess it has a price of 629 art coins so if you if you want to purchase a warship in the market I would recommend you to start with a powerful warship or submarine in my opinion the Belgorod submarine is a good option or if you want a warship the Admiral Gorshkov but take into consideration that the Admiral Gorshkov is expensive but it has a powerful equipment because it has a fixed zircon missile also the USS Constitution is a good warship to grind and it is cheap you can purchase this warship for 529 art coins there's also another category for the battleships and expensive items of the game such as the New Hampshire, the Blue Shark, the RF Moscow, the Amaro Aegis and the Argonas Ekranoplane also the best uh, bombers of the game are only available in the market remember that you can purchase some of them in the equipment shop but those are not as good as these ones so I would recommend you to get uh, the H6 bomber which has a nuclear missile equipped and the H8 bomber okay so those are cheap uh, bombers and are easy to use remember that for example this H10 bomber you need to aim with the bombs which is kind of more difficult if you are a beginner in this game there are a lot of strike fighters in the game but my personal recommendation for you could be the Mirage 31 Foxhound jet because it has guided missiles and also the JHXX jet okay so this is another strike fighter which is really easy to use okay so the fighters are not too important in this game so you can purchase whatever you want but in the helicopter remember that I already told you the best helicopter of the game is the Merlin helicopter okay so it's actually better than the CH-1 I would say also there are some good helicopters such as the Chinook helicopter and uh, the Kamov this is the most exclusive item of the game this is the RG-32 cannon this item doesn't have a price so if a player wants to sell this for 1 million art coins he can do it because this is a limited item this was a gift from a previous event in the game so there were limited units to the highest leaderboards of that event and that's the main reason why this is so exclusive and expensive okay so there's actually a lot of cannons in the game but the best cannon of the game you can purchase it in the equipment shop once you reach level 25 I'm talking about the Monarch Cannon, okay? Once you reach the level 25, you will be able to get uh, this cannon. There are also some railguns and some good equipment that could be purchased for dollars, but you need to reach level 20. About the torpedoes, there are a lot of torpedoes in the game, but it seems like the most powerful torpedo of the game right now is the Type 89 torpedo. That's why it has a high price. As you can see, it has a price of 3,000. 500 gold parts. okay so each torpedo has different characteristics some of them are faster some of them deploy a lot of units so for example this one deploys two pcs and the black shark also two pcs but the spearfish torpedo only one pc but take into consideration that the spearfish torpedo can cost 32,500 the match in comparison with uh, this one 11,000 points of the match. Okay guys, so I actually forgot to show you the camouflage of this game Which is actually one of the coolest features of modern warships. Okay, so we have a normal camouflage a rare camouflage and a legendary camouflage Okay, so these are actually the normal ones that you can purchase for some gold uh, Vars you will also have special camouflage that will be obtainable in the battle pass also this uh, kind of uh, VIP camouflage that will be actually obtainable in the VIP pass of the game 
and uh, also there are some camouflage that are only available in bundles such as this one and uh, this one which is pixels of Valors. okay so these are camouflage that can change during flight with your aircrafts this is a cool feature that i like about uh, this so those camouflage can change the color so as you can see it is blue now but it can change to a different color such as this one okay so this is a pretty cool feature okay so right now the camouflage are not tradable in the market so the only way to get it is purchasing a warship and if that warship has a camouflage equipped you will get that camouflage too i forgot to talk about the legendary equipment of the game okay so remember that i talked about the legendary and the hero status okay so those players will have access to exclusive warships of the game so only the players that have the legendary status will be able to purchase warships or aircraft carriers like this one the uss nemesis in this aircraft carrier you will be able to equip two strike fighters okay so this is actually the only aircraft carriers with uh, these characteristics in the game also look at the durability of this machine 546,000 points of durability this is so incredible guys this is actually really similar to a spaceship also the legendary players will have access to a submarine aircraft carrier in tier 2 yes this is an incredible submarine that you can equip with strike fighters okay so you can also fire missiles and the torpedoes the only way to purchase those warships is with platinum platinum is an exclusive currency that is only available for the legendary players okay so with this currency you will be able to buy those warships so that's the exclusive use of that currency so in other terms you can only buy three or two warships with platinum in this game that's all you can do with platinum a lot of players say that modern warships is a pay to win game so now i'm going to prove you that it's not okay so as you can see i'm gonna try this warship only using a free to play equipment okay so this is equipment that you can purchase for some dollars in the equipment shop also, this is a dollar warship. This is the RF Baryak, actually my recommendation for tier 3 beginners. Okay guys, so we're currently playing in Viking Bay. So remember that as I already told you that the best strategy in this game is to play close to your teammates. Okay, so never try to fight all the enemies alone by yourself. That's actually the worst decision and the worst idea that you could have. Okay, so we don't have aircraft carriers in this battle. So it seems like this will be a little bit uh, complicated so bro they already used a helicopter to spot our warships so, so we need to do the same thing okay so there are some warships over there okay so we need to take some cover fire some bro why are they trying to destroy my warship it's because i am press bro i need to create some cover bro this is crazy I need to get some cover right now. Okay, so let's try to destroy those enemies. Now we're using some players. Bro, they are all participating. This is bad, but I guess that we're going to survive this. Okay, nice. Let's try to get some cover now. Bro, they are here. They are here. So we, we must say... Okay, so I'm going to stay here. I'm going to try to get uh, this cover. Okay, so this is pretty nice. Okay, so we already survived. This is the most important uh, thing. Okay, so this is... Let's try to destroy that guy. Nice. That was a good amount of the match. Okay, so let's try to stay here. Bro, we destroyed that warship. Okay, so it was actually an assist. Nice. Let's try to continue here. This is actually the best spot. Okay, so that guy is doing something wrong. He's trying to fight alone. That's bad. Okay, so let's try to destroy that enemy warship. Okay, nice, bro. Bye-bye, my friend. We destroyed another warship. Okay, so it was pretty nice. Okay, so as you can see, this game is not a pay to win. The only thing that you need to do is to learn how to play properly. Okay, so if you don't know how to play, Obviously, the enemy team will crush you at the beginning of the match. And we're going to destroy that warship too. 
Look at that! Nice! Another warship destroyed. Okay, so I guess that I don't have eliminations in this match. But I'm actually helping my teammates, so this is the most important thing. So let's try to follow my teammates and now we're going to destroy the last two enemies. Okay, so look at this. We're now five against two right now. So this will be an easy win if we do this together. Okay, so let's continue here. Okay, bro, it seems like they're already going to destroy it, those to destroy those warships. Nice, bro. This was too easy. This game is too easy with free-to-play equipment. All you need to do is to know how to play. Okay, so it was destroyed, and as you can see, we survived. Okay, easy victory. We, di we didn't destroy any warship, but I already proved you that you don't need the best equipment of the game in order to enjoy and to play this game. So now I'm going to show you a quick tutorial about the tier 3 submarines gameplay because it is quite uh, different uh, from the tier 2 submarines. Okay, so as you can see here we have uh, more submarines, we have more torpedoes and uh, more missiles. Let's try to fire some torpedoes against, uh, against uh, those uh, warships. Okay, so the first uh, thing that we must uh, do is to get uh, some cover. Okay, so let's try to get some cover and to destroy those enemies okay so i'm gonna try to reach this position over here which is actually the best let's use uh, the torpedo decoys look at that it seems like we're going to destroy, we're going to destroy this rf storm and uh, also that missouri warship but look at that okay let me see what we can do over there okay so bye bye storm we destroyed uh, that uh, warship Okay, so this is actually the perfect spot. We already have a, a good position right now. And uh, all we need to do is to wait our teammates. But in this map, the bad uh, thing is that uh, always the players try to camp, you know, hiding behind uh, these kind of uh, bases. So. Okay, so let's try to fire all the torpedoes. Look at that. Okay, so there's a warship right here. Look at this. We're going to destroy that Admiral Basisti. Bye bye, my friend. Woof! It was destroyed. Nice. Okay, what should we do right now? Let's try to stay here. Bro, there's a lot of torpedoes. Okay, so I'm gonna stay here. Here I can avoid all those torpedoes. And uh, we should repair our submarine right now. Okay, so we're four against uh, three. We need to play this correctly and we will win this battle without any problem. Okay, so that's a bad idea, my friend. That's a bad idea. You should stay here. Okay, so let's try to fire some missiles against uh, that Bella Gold uh, warship. Okay, so let's try to destroy them. Okay, so now we should go. Yes. Let's go, everyone. No, I don't think it's a good idea. We should stay here. This is the most intelligent decision. Okay, look at this. Okay, so we caused some damage to those warships. Okay, so I'm staying here. Okay, so there are two warships here. There's a the warship, an aircraft carrier. Okay, so this is actually the best uh, thing that we should do right now. Okay, so we should recover the oxygen. Should we use the players? Yes, let's use it. Let's fire some torpedoes. That was a bad idea. I shouldn't fire that Poseidon nuclear torpedo. Okay, so let's stay here. That's only a torpedo, so I'm not going to use the torpedo decoys. I actually can get some cover here, I guess. Not. But not too much damage. Okay, so now we can go. So it seems like we're going to destroy all those warships. So let's continue here. And let's focus in this warship, right? Yes. That's what we're going to do. We're going to destroy all those enemies. Look at that, bro. That was so nice. We destroyed that warship. Now let's get underwater again. There's only one enemy remaining. And we're going to win another battle. So let's continue here. 
Hello, my friend, and bye bye. <laughs> Bro, this was so good, guys. Okay, only one target to destroy it, but we got uh, the victory, which was the important uh, thing. Okay, guys, so now I will show you one of the coolest uh, things of the game. I think this is the peak gameplay of modern warships, okay? So using the best aircraft carriers with uh, bombers and strike fighters. So I'm going to use a premium bomber, okay? So I'm going to use this one. This is a Chinese bomber. This is the H8 bomber. It actually looks kind of a commercial plane. <laughs> so I'm gonna make a tutorial about how to use bombers, helicopters, and drones, okay? So the best helicopter in tier 2 right now is the Merlin helicopter. It is because you can spam torpedoes against enemy submarines, okay? So this helicopter has two torpedo slots and also it has bombs that you can use against submerged targets so it actually doesn't matter if the submarine is submerged underwater and you will be able to drop some bombs into those campers okay so as you can see this is the aircraft carrier that I will use this is the Peng aircraft carrier okay guys so this is actually the peak uh, gameplay of modern warships okay so i'm gonna deploy all my equipment right now my drones my helicopters and everything available so that's actually a feature that you need to activate uh, in the settings of the game so i'm gonna open the map right now this is a vip strike fighter this is the f-18 super hornet strike fighter okay so let's try to open the map Seems like there are some enemy warships over here. Let's use the flares and these air-to-surface guided missiles, okay? Look at that. Okay, so that was the first hit. And let's deploy the flares and get back to our aircraft carrier. Okay, so we must take some cover right now. Okay, we can actually fire torpedoes and missiles against that aircraft carrier, okay? So let's try to turn here. Let's try to find a, a safe position for our carrier. So let's try to continue here. We should go that way, I guess. Let's deploy some place. And then we will reach a safe position over here. So let's try to continue. Okay, guys. So I guess that was the best position for our aircraft carrier. So now let's use... Uh, this bomber okay so this is the b-52 bomber it seems like there's a warship right here whoa look at that we can destroy this bomber right now so this is actually bro i was i was going to show you how to use the bombs but we already destroyed that warship okay so let's focus remember that with the strike fighters and the bombers you should always focus in the weakest target of the game for example this one this is the weakest warship right now. So let's get closer and I will show you how to use the bombs. Remember that first you need to reduce airspeed and you will be able to deploy all of your bombs and then do a kamikaze and crash your bomber like that. <laughs> okay, so that was actually a bad idea and I'm going to show you how to use the drone right now. Okay, so we caused a lot of damage to that warship also. Okay, so this is an incredible drone in the game this drone has laser weapons okay guys so as you can see if we get closer to that warship look at this guys this is so incredible we're going to destroy this warship look at that okay that was so nice okay so this is a VTOL drone so look at this it has an incredible design oh so there's actually an Izanami submarine over there Hello, my friend. What are you doing? Let's try to get closer and let's try to destroy this submarine right now. So, look at this. Okay, so remember that we can fly in the same spot with this drone. Okay, so another target destroyed. So, let's try to deploy. Bro, I don't have the bomber. <laughs> I cannot deploy my bomber again. That's bad. Okay, so there's only one enemy remaining. Let's try to destroy that enemy warship. Okay, so let's try to get closer. That's what we're going to do. We can enjoy the view because we already won this game. Okay, so let's try to destroy... That's an air... No, not an aircraft carrier. It's just a warship, right? Let's use the guided missiles. Okay, so let's try 
to... Okay, so he already used the flares. So now we can deploy all of our missiles. Nice, look at that. Bro, this is so crazy. Oh, he did it again. Bye bye, my friend. Okay, so we destroyed another warship and another easy wing. Two targets destroyed in this battle and almost one million damage. Okay guys, I'm about to show you why this warship is the most expensive item of the game. Yes, I'm talking about the Arsenal ship, which price is around 300,000 art coins. Okay, so as you can see we have 3 missile slots, so in the first one we have 2 missile batteries. I equipped Zircon missile in this first slot. In the second one I equipped the S500 Prometheus in order to destroy all the enemy jets and the bombers and in the third slot I prepared myself to fight against the submarines so with this loadout I can destroy warships bombers and also submarines this is the best equipment possible in this game so as you can see we have a fixed railgun so this is one of the most powerful railguns of the game also we have a fixed grenade launcher which is really powerful too also I equipped the premium mantis helicopter in the auto cannon slot we have the rapid fire and the, the laser early con hell air defense okay so let's open the map we're now in unexplored rocks this is not not my favorite map but I think that we can get a good battle here so okay so we got Hang Shu class over there let's try to destroy that worship this is the place and let's go back okay look at this I think I'm going to destroy this guy. Bro, this is too powerful. Look at this. Bro. <laughs> we already destroyed that guy, bro. There's a Belgorod submarine over here. Let's try to get some cover. Bro, there, there's the Belgorod. There's the Belgorod submarine. We can destroy that Belgorod with the U missile. Bro, there are some jets here. Okay, so it seems like we already destroyed that guy. So there are only three enemies left in this battle. So let's try to keep going. We should destroy that guy. He's going to die. Yes, he is. Bye bye, my friend. Yes, we're going to destroy that guy. And uh, we did it. Nice. No, no way. Bro, Nimitz? What is Nimitz doing here? Bro, what are you doing in this battle? going to destroy you. Poor Nimitz. <laughs> Poor Nimitz. Bro, there's no way. Look at this. Bye bye Nimitz. Okay, so that uh, Nimitz carrier was already destroyed. Uh, there's only one Belgorod in this battle. Okay guys, that's why this warship is so expensive. I mean, uh, this missile's combination makes it one of the most powerful things of the game. Also, look at the durability of this warship. 546,000 durability points. It's, it's too much. Let's try to destroy that Belgorod. Let's try to get closer. Okay. Nice. Let's use uh, this uh, Circon missile. We're going to destroy that Belgorod. Let's try to get closer. Bruh. Nice! I think we're going to destroy it. But that's H8 uh, Vamber. Nice. Okay, look at this. Bruh, he's, he's using the Poseidon torpedo. Nice!
Okay guys, if this tutorial and the review was useful for you, don't forget to like and to subscribe to my channel. Here you will find the best guides and the tutorials about every single game that you want.